A few weeks away, two local districts are discussing plans for a new charter school. This morning and only on four, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Chandy Chapman has a closer look at the plans and the advocate helping with the project. A new charter high school focused on entrepreneurship could be a reality right here in Penn Hills. And here's a familiar name. Leon Ford is involved in the project and he says it could be a great opportunity for young people. This building along Rhode Island Road in Penn Hills could be where dreams come true for high schoolers. Leon Ford and officials in the Penn Hills and Woodland Hills School District are leading the way for it to become Demidis High School, a charter school for entrepreneurs. We're providing the youth with those tools and resources so that they can uh, dream big but also have the action and the steps behind the dreams to, you know, actualize their dreams and make it a reality. Back in 2012, Ford was shot by police and paralyzed. He's now a founding board member for Dominus High School, along with being an entrepreneur and community advocate. The Penn Hill School District sent us a statement saying, in part, Penn Hill School District recently received notice from Dr. Wayne Jones of an anticipated new charter high school. Ford says local businesses will be involved to serve as mentors and be part of a pipeline to success. When we think about um, jobs that exist now and jobs that exist in the future from philanthropy, law, you know, AI, you will learn how to, you know, create business plans, uh, but also be connected to entrepreneurs within the community um, in that field who can help make it a reality. Ford says creating an environment that shapes future entrepreneurs is a win-win for the Pittsburgh area. One of our region's biggest flaws is that we don't retain our, our greatest talent. Right. And so how do we, you know, uh, provide a ecosystem where our talent is not moving out of the city for opportunities? Dr. Wayne Jones says there'll be another presentation about the school before it's possibly approved by the Woodland Hills School District. Reporting in Penn Hills, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Chandy, thank you. And with students heading back to school soon, safe.